If you want to know exactly how it is possible to master the chart really on Bitcoin, then today I'm going to give you the answer. I'm really going to explain you how it is possible to really trade good Bitcoin, okay? All by using an order flow and eight ways for the context. Okay, I'm really going to focus today on the order flow so you can really understand um, what means, for example, the data. Okay, we're going to focus on this section of the chart right here for the possible long trade we've got. I mean, for the swing long, by the way, we, we, we've placed it. And I, when I told I was longing here and I was taking the swing long trade too here, by the way. So if you want to join the Discord server, feel free. It's absolutely free. I'm doing this for absolutely free. You do not need to pay to join the Discord server. All the chances here are for absolutely free. So really, just come and enjoy, really. That's the only thing you need to do. Um, uh, but anyway, so we're going to really focus on this long trade we've got right here. I'm going to explain you why this was a good long trade and how it was possible to recognize that line in the time. For example, I told here it's a very risky one directly here, but it was already, we just have done the week here. Oops. We just have done the week here, for example, we have done the week. And I told you here, and for me, this is already a good long setup. A very risky for the moment because we're really trying to get a knife now, uh, right here. But this is still a valid long setup. And again, here we've got the continuation from here. And all of this, line in the time, of course. So yeah, in, in front of all of this. So it's impossible to lie on this, okay? So yeah, I'm going to show you really how it was possible to, to make this decision and um, how you can make it on your side too and how you can read an order flow. So what I'm going to use in this video is the Excel charts order flow, okay? Again, you do not have this uh, directly, this view, or you have to make your own templates and everything, otherwise you can go and check out our website. But yeah, I'm going to focus today on the order flow, okay, right here, and on the five and 15 minutes. I'm not going to go and cover the 10 second chart, one minute, 30 seconds. We're going to make it very easy, okay, I'm going to try to make it very simple. I'm going to, of course, explain everything. I'm not going to say, hey, if you want to get more, just go and check out our website, really. Uh, if you want to get more, like, I'm, I'm not going to give you all the details. If you want to get the details, really go and learn from our website. No, I'm not going to do this. If you want to check out our website, you go and check out our website. Now I'm going to make it very simple. I'm going to explain everything, really, so you can really understand how it is possible. To, I mean, how it is possible to recognize that live in the time and how you can do it also on your side. So, oops. so the thing is, first of all, you have to identify your targets. So this is what we have done, for example, um, in the daily updates. You know, every day of the week, I am live on the YouTube channel, okay, to give you my plan for the for the day ahead, really, because I'm, I am a day trader. So we have to. I'm just giving you my plan, really, on Bitcoin, on Bitcoin, yeah, most of the time. And so, yeah, from here we have plans. So. Two dif uh, three different targets to the downside. Okay, so we've got this first one here. So now we have all my, my day trade here for, for, for the targets, really. But you've got so the line in the time before, I mean, when it was on the top here, we already planned this first target right here. Recognize that this was not a good long. You can go and check out the, I can't remember, I think it was the one on a Friday. That was not, I told all that was not a good long trade. We've got a continuation. And our second target was still that one, by the way. It was all of this low, these lows right here we've got. So this right here for a possible swing through pan to take some stop loss. This right here so for another swing through pan to take some stop loss. And this right here for another swing through pan to take some stop loss. So this right here was our second target, so to speak, the low we have done. Okay, first target that was not really good for a long. And the second one here ran exactly in this and recognized this was a valid long setup here. Okay, so now, this is the first thing you have to do, okay? If you really want to trade Bitcoin good, you have to plan your targets before, right? of, of course, we do the move because it's not when you're doing the move that you're going to, okay, what to, to, to say, okay, like, where do you have to look for a trade? I don't know. No, you have to plan this before it happens because you don't have time to look at, to, 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 to look at this, really. You already know what price you are, what level, what zone of, of price you're going to trade. And when you're doing the move at your time, the only thing you have to do is to read the order flow. You don't have time to, you don't have time really to, to you don't have, time to spend really if you can say that on the TA on the technical analysis you have to do it before the move happen it's extremely important you plan up and down you plan your targets above your targets below so in any case you don't care we push up we go down that's not a problem you know exactly where you have to trade and what target then you just have to read the order flow okay so this was the target plan the second one the first one was not really good as they said second target here bam we recognize that this is a very good I mean this is a good long trade risky because we really got the week directly here down we've got so the week here the week down and bam, we get so the long here directly. So it's a bit of trying to catch a knife, but again, personally, I have my data to take the long. I have my data, and that's it, really. And so we've got the continuation at the, at the end. So how was it possible to recognize that was a good long? That was part of the 10 second chart. Like I said, I'm not going to cover this 10 second chart. Okay, you just have to go and check on the 10 second chart. You've got some good data. Now I'm going to focus really on the swing trade because that, for example, was for the, the scalp. Okay, I took the scalp long, I took profit 
50% uh, after I made the move, I then placed my stop loss entry and I got stopped out and filled another trade after on the reclaim here because for me it was good, it was good to take along here and because of so, the context with the yellow waves, because the wave 4 was possibly in, okay, if you want to watch the context with the yellow waves, you have to go and check the videos on the on the YouTube channel, but for me here, this was my, this was also the first target for the wave 4 to be in and from here we've got the good reaction, I'm going to cover really why it was a good reaction here. Um, but yeah, for the scab here, really, you, this was a 10 second try and I'm not going to make it too complex because this video is also for people that are starting with the order flow to really understand how it is possible to read it. So first of all, what we can see here is inside a drop, we, co we come so into our target, okay, for the possible swing through pounds uh, right here, okay, so possible swing through pounds the lows. And so from here, what we have, we can see that we have, so in this drop, by the way, a decreasing of the open entry. So this right here, the, the blue and red uh, little canal, if you can say that, are the, is the open interest. Okay, this is the open interest. What it means, if this is decreasing, so red to speak, it means that we have some liquidation, people taking profits, top loss taken. To speak, these are not new trades coming in the market. Of course, we have some new people taking some trade in there, but we have more liquidations, more people taking profit, more people getting wrecked, if we can say that, okay? Or just people taking profit, so it's not really wrecked, but these are not new trades coming on the market. When this is increasing, these are new shorts, for example, here in that account, we have a negative delta. Okay, the second line in the table here, first you have the 2.5 million, that is the volume, then you have the delta. Okay, you have a negative or a positive delta. So if this is negative, you have more shorts in the kernel, and if this is positive, you have more longs in the kernel. Okay, if of course the open interest is increasing. But anyway, so um, so what we can see here that we have decreased on the open interest. So we don't have really trap shorts first of all. Okay, uh, on this low right there, we got a reclaim. Okay, with as you can see here, an increasing of the open interest. So it means that we have new market orders coming on the market. We have new trades here coming on the market, new long trade because we have a positive delta. From here, what we have to look for is if these long trades are getting absorbed or not. What it means, it simply means that when you have some new market order or, or orders coming on the market, okay, market orders move the price. So to speak, you're going to buy, 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 it's going to push the price higher except if you have some bigger limits absorbing all of these loans coming in. So to speak, you're, you have two different market order types, I mean, uh, order types, sorry, the market orders, where you, for example, buy or sell at the current price of the of the, of the market, or the limits, and the limits are going to preset an order at, for example, I don't know, $33,800. You're going to preset an order here, and when the price is going to come to $33,800, it's going to fill your limit order, okay? So you're going to open the order for you. So the limit uh, the market order moves the price and the limit order absorb really the market orders and so to speak here if we have and how we can we can recognize that of course you can use for example a dom right here for example okay right here for example you can use this to see if the limits are getting filled all this but what you can do also is simply check at the cvd the d bars here so to speak the um, pink line you can see right here that is, this is the CVD. How you can recognize if these, there is absorption or not on the market? It's very simple. You just have to check if we have some divergence or not. So to speak here, for example, we have a high, low high, and a low high. What we can see here in the CVD, we have a high, higher high, and a higher high. So we have divergence. High, low high, high, as you can see here, high, higher high. So we do have some divergence here, okay, for me. It means that all the longs against zero opening, we have like almost 300,000 here of new longs coming in. Why? Because we have positive data plus an increasing of the open interest. So you know, we know that we have new market order longs coming. We again have new market order longs coming on the, in the next channel, in the next channel, in the next channel. So we know that here, we here we have longs. We again have some few longs here against coming. Again, this is, again, this is not crazy big. We normally want to see really some millions, but we know that here we still have some few market order longs coming. The thing is we have some market order longs coming, but the price is moving down and we start forming some divergence on the CVD. It means that yes, we do have some market order longs come in to push, to try to push the price higher, but we have some bigger limits here absorbing all the longs come in. And so most of the time when this happened, as I said before, of course it happened uh, because yeah, I'm using it to this really, um, too much longs isn't that good because most of the time we absorb them Okay, before even we formed the absolute I was able to recognize my good because, because yeah, this I'm using to 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 be yeah, a daily trader, so this is something you will see a lot. We absorb them and we go for the lows to take the stop loss. So on Bybit, as you can see here, we do not go and take the stop loss. You can see here we have the law of the week here. We do not go really to take the stop loss. But on Coinbase, we go, if you go on Coinbase here, you can see we go and form one more new law to take the stop loss. 
okay so coinbase is really something you also have to be aware of as a day trader for example you really need to be aware of coinbase of the coinbase price simply because these days we do a lot of swing through pan on coinbase and not on bybit you will recognize that by yourself you just have to make your own experience with all of this but if you pay attention on a lot i mean a lot of times we're going to get a swing through pan or we just go for one more for a, for a low or one more time for a high we do this on coinbase but not on bybit so as you can see before even we get all the data was able to recognize that when we get too much long like this we most of the time um, absorb them so to speak here we got the absorption on the highs we got here you can see the divergence forming so we absorb this and we went so non by bit for the lows but on coinbase we went to take that low the previous low here okay uh, right there we went to take the previous low okay you can see here this was the first rise we've got absorption on the top here and we go bam take the stop loss and once we have done this okay we stop at the longs the early longs in that case and we come back up that's why I always take my, for example, that was the first cap. I take my long to profit after 50% uh, after the move. Once we have done this, I set my stop loss entry. And then if I get stopped, I'm going to try to check if I can re enter. If not, then go take the lows. And from here, yes, that was good again. And so I jump in and swing along. Um, what I like, you know, by the way, this called seven. Once more here. Um, per se, I'm taking the, the, the swing along if you want to play with the swing along here, per se, I'm taking it. So on PP also, by the way, you have a nice long setup. Just go and check out the YouTube channel. You have all the details there in the video section. But yeah, so first of all, this was why this was not really bullish. OK, and we could expect lower prices to come. This is how you can make such decisions. OK, um, now the thing is, so we've got the retracement. What we've got here on Bybit on the ret on the retracement here, what we what we've got here, we can go now on the fifteen minutes to see a bit more what happened. Okay, you have also to switch like this between different time frames to really see um, if you have or not trap short. For example, here you can see that we have some in the red color here. We have some, we have two point two dot one million of new shorts opening. Why? Because we have an increase of the open interest plus a minus two dot one million delta so my uh, negative delta that is my um 2.1 million so to speak here we have some new market order shorts coming into the market so you can see here if you go on this five minutes we don't have this here we have only eight hundred thousand. so we need also to switch like this between the different time frames as always possible trap longs or in, for example here we have on the 30 minutes 4.5 million it's normal because we regroup i mean you 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 take all for example here for the 30 minutes you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six five minutes counts. So of course, you have all the data from this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so this is normal. But it's good to switch between time frame like this. Okay, it's really something I recommend you to do. Okay, to really see better if you have some trap longs or trap shorts. Okay, this is, I mean, some possible because live in the time, you don't know if these are going to be trap longs or trap shorts. Now, how was it possible to recognize that this was more likely trap shorts? Because next, as you can see, you have the demand come in here. OK, and in addition to this now, as you can see, so you formed the absorption, you went and took the lows after after you formed the bearish divergence, you got so all the longs getting absorbed. You went and took the lows on Coinbase, not on Bybit, but here on Bybit, what you start, what you start to form once we have done the swing through pound Coinbase. So swing through pound Coinbase, Bybit, not, we didn't, as you understood, OK, but on Coinbase. And so from the Coinbase swing through pound, we start to get the demand coming back here. As you can see, we'll have the longs come in. And what we have in addition to this, is simply a low now, a high low, and here we have what? A low, and a lower low on the right. You can see here we have a low, and on the right here, that low is lower. You can see, if I place my mouth here, normally you can see a low, lower, low, and on the chart here we have a low, high low. What it means, that now we have some market order shorts come in, as you can see here, we have some market order shorts come in, but there are some bigger limits absorbing all these market order shorts come in. We have some uh, limit longs absorbing all these market order shorts come in. Okay? And so, of course, if we next have the demand, the price reverse, okay? And even after that, by the way, we started to form some few... Do, 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 do. Oh, no, but we don't have some few bullish divergence. But this, for example, for me, was announced to take the long shot. Of course, you have the, the MC reaction on the lower time frame. We got it here, for example. We got it here. These are really, really more and more and more stuff you want to see. But again, I'm not going to jump in like... Too, I'm, not, I'm not going to give you too much details today, really. This right here is already good enough. So what we've got here, trap shorts, okay? For a possible good long setup, you've got trap shorts. 2 million, 4 million, depending on the time frame you're going to look for. You've got absorption. So you've got the, the shorts come in, but you've got these shorts getting absorbed on the market. And next, you have the demand to push the price higher. Okay? These right here are some good data you want to see. You can also check, for example, have the path control on the car on the very low here. You can see this is on the bottom. We have the path control on the car around the low, not on the top, really. So you can see all the volume. Really, people are really trying to short the bottom of the bottom, really. <laughs> this is what we 
yeah, this is this is a summary of relief against setup. So you have this. You can check also at the imbalances. If you have some big imbalances on the low, for example, I mean some yeah some big some imbalances here. I am not using the imbalances anymore personally. I don't really care about this anymore. But yeah, so absorption plus trap shorts. For me, it was into my terrier, and of course we got some MCR reaction and everything. This was a long trade, and that's it really. Okay. This was some bullish data. This was not bearish. This was bearish first of all, but we went took the lows on Coinbase and on Bybit. So once we took the lows on Coinbase, we've got some good data because now we've got absorption and the demand coming in next. So for me, as I said, this was announced to take the long trade, right? And that brings us with this very, very nice right. And yeah, all of this for absolutely from the Discord on the Discord server. Yeah, I told I was taking this swing long. And we've got this nice rise, right? We've got this very, very, very nice rise. We've got also the balance from the PP right here. <laughs> um, that is just really nice from the MC Fib, by the way. There's a Fib we're, I mean, I'm using here. Um, no one is using that normally because this is something I, we have, I've created here. But so it's pretty cool. And we went exactly into our first short target, you can see here. So right there, we've got to the rise from our target for a long. And we just come back up here for our first target for a show. And so from here, we get the retracement, right? This is pretty cool. And now we are back testing it. So you can see how good this is if you know exactly I mean, what you have to do, really. You just plan your targets, and then you just have to trigger your targets based on the direction. That's it, really. Okay. Um, yeah. So I really hope this video will help you, really, to, to make some more informed trading decisions. If you want to get more really about, for example, the MC reaction and everything, as I said, I'm going to cover everything. I, I cannot really like cover everything, really. You have to understand already what is absorption, for example, if you're a beginner, really. Understand all of this, really. This is extremely important. I'm not going to go too in-depth, of course, now, because you're going to get too much information. You're going to say, what the fuck this guy is saying right now? So you have to understand that. Once you understood that, you can, of course, go uh, with more and more and more details. But this is already good enough, okay, to understand why this was a really good long trade and why this was really some bullish data, okay? I don't know if we can go on that top here, to be honest. Um, and so just, I, I can just show you really, a really quick way, for example, that was bearish. Uh, let me see here on the one minute. That was the top now. Um, it's not the best example, that one, to be honest, because that one is a bit more complex. Let, let me just pause the recording. I'm going to check this on my side. Yeah, okay, so the thing is, um, we're going to go on the 10 second chart so we can get an idea of what we can get, for example, in the 10 second chart here. So this was the top, okay, this was the top, like where we went, the, the time when we went into our first target, the first resistance, really, first first touch of our target for a short. The thing is, you come in here, okay, so we don't have trap longs on that one, so it's not the best trade ever, okay, that's why now we come back, because not most of the time to really fill the market to go higher or more down, we need some trap trade. Is it really the, the poor of the <laughs> of Bitcoin, if you can say that? Um, so the thing is here, you have, as you can see, some big decrease of the open interest again okay these are more liquidations people taking profits stop loss i mean more liquidation and stop loss taken to be fair because here we really as you can see here uh, right uh, no no right here uh, right there really come to take some highs here we have this first top this second top this third top and of course all the people shorting here that will show on the bottom here places stop loss above 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 these tops right there so of course and we haven't taken that one by the way so we've took we, we have taken a lot of of, of short stop loss here i think um i don't know if on the family here we can see the liquidation i mean people getting wrecked here let me see really quick. Um, yeah, you can see we have like 100, uh, almost 200,000 here of people getting uh, off wrecked shorts here. You can see we, 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 do, we did some, some few wrecked here. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, so these are not really new longs up here on the market because we can see we have a decreasing of the open interest. What we can see is that we reject really, we know as you can see no real demand here to go more down. We don't have really some shorts here. What we do next, we simply have some few longs coming here again. As you can see, again, this is a 10 second chart, so you really have to, to be really fast when you check out this. Okay, really, you do, you do not even think about, okay, what means this, what means this. No, you know exactly what it means, everything really. And you just see the reaction where you want to see and you take the trade. That's it. Okay. Um, but a person was sleeping, if I'm mistaken, because uh, yeah, I need to sleep on the weekend. I'm doing six videos a day on the week, so I need to sleep on the weekend. Um, but anyway, so here, what we've got is simply so liquidations here, no real. Uh, new market order coming in, we get a bit of a pullback, we get a bit of a retest, and again, what we can see here, that we have some new longs coming here, again, this is not crazy, they're not crazy numbers, but this can be announced because that was on the weekend, yeah, Saturday, so it's normal to get this also on the weekend, not crazy, crazy data, uh, so it's not the best example, but yeah, this is still something good, you can see, for example, here we have a high, a lower high, and again, here we have a high, higher high, what it means that we have some new market order longs, you can see, we have four, almost 500,000 here coming in, but is, these right here are getting absorbed by limit short, and most of it, more of this will have some demand next against here for, for shorts here coming in. 
okay so the thing is we have this absorption to make it a bit more complex okay so you can really understand what we don't want to see is for example this bullish divergence we have next to absorption in highs we go in that case take the lows because we have this absorption to have some limit shorts here absorbing the market all those coming so we bring the price back down to take out these lows right here and once we took the lows against here now we have a low 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 on the right so very very small one and here now we have a low high low so this for example is not something we want to see for a short trade okay first of all now the data can change this is a 10 second chart so it's very quick okay what we have next we have a low high low we have a low 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 so again this is not very good for a short to be fair at, at that time okay then what we have we have a high higher high so now we have a, a high lower high so we know that we have after this bullish divergence you can see this bullish absorption that bring us with this rise we've got the rise okay and so we now took the highs okay hope that makes sense we have the low high low low low, low. so we have this bullish divergence so this bullish divergence make the price come back up and once we come back up we have now this high 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 low high so now we have after the there is a bullish divergence. We have now a bearish divergence. We have some limit shorts absorbing that. So we have some limit longs, limit shorts absorbing everything here. From here, what do we have? What we can see here? Let me just say it really quick. Um, so we have right here this high. This is low high next. So yeah, we have this high. So higher high, high low high. So bearish divergence now forming. And again, here have a, we have a so this high, higher high, and we have this high, low high, right? And so bam, we have absorption on the highs. You can see here, for example, that we don't have absorption really. We have this low, high, low, low, high, low. We don't have absorption lows, but now we have this absorption on the highs. So the the last really, if you can say that like divergence, okay, absorption was a limit short absorbing this. Of course, you want to see some more data. Uh, you don't have the MC reaction on this time frame, by the way. Have this, I think it was on the 30 second try, if I'm mistaken. You have the, the MC reaction on this. But when you start in that case to remove the absorption, by the way, you have the absorption on the highs here. But when, for example, if, if for you, this, for example, you got, you could class some few stuff here as absorption, the lows, for example, here, low, 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 you have a low, high, low. So you want to, in that case, remove this absorption. And once you remove this absorption here, for example, right there, you can see you start in that kind right exactly here. You come back down, you almost take the lows, and you also take the lows here. So you remove the absorption. On the market the absorption you could possibly get on the lows once you have done this you take your trade uh, you can see so by the way directly here we start to remove the absorption and here when we took the lows here you have the low okay you have the low here so you have a low 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 and here again you have a low and a low low so you don't have absorption anymore in the market on the lows and so now in that case if you're scared a bit about the possible bullish absorption you've got now you removed all the absorption and you have now bam the drop coming in okay Again, to really enter the trade and everything, you have to get some more and more and more data. But this is a way, for example, you can read the market, okay? An easy way, really, if you can say that. You can just read the absorption. What is the last absorption and everything? Do I have trap longs? Do I have trap shorts? Really, what's happening behind the market? Is it what you have to think? Like, yeah, this is, this is what, what you have to think. Like, what's happening really behind the market? And what the bigger players, really, if you can say that, want to do next, okay? Um, but yeah, for example, just you can see the 10 second chart. We've got absorption first on the high, then on the lows, and on the highs, and on the lows, and on the highs, and that brings us with this possible drop. We got some few possible absorption on the lows at the, at the end, but the problem is we don't have the demand here. You can see the push high. We don't have any longs here coming, so of course it's not going to push higher because there are no market other longs coming, and so of course price come back down, and so we remove the absorption on the lows, and we bam get the bigger drop. Okay, so yeah, and we get this nice continuation. So this is for example here on a the 10 second chart now it's really if you want to to really uh, get some more and more information but already if you stay with the five minutes for example 15 30 minutes to catch a swing, such swing long or swing short this is good enough okay again this is my view to trade on the market keep in mind that there are many different ways to read and note to an order flow okay you have some some you have so many ways to read this really you have different strategies using an order flow every trader really is different so maybe there are some some traders you know watching this update and they're like okay, what the fuck this guy is saying he's not all like this for me it's like this and you can see it's working very well for now all the trades where i told i was jumping in uh so to speak one two three four maybe four trades because i'm doing this you know not for a long um i think four trades within this range and the four trade was winning trades just based off the reaction we've got on the order flow and for example here directly when for example we took the right here just with a week here i was able already to recognize that was a good long trade for me to take it to take this and to try to catch an eye against that. so yeah for me this is working well that's the most important and i can tell it's working well on the long term too <laughs> that's pretty cool but anyway so yeah just keep in mind there are many ways to read an order flow this is not the only way you can do it but personally yeah, this is the way i'm doing this of course with a, a lot more information uh you know, a lot more not a lot more but some few more stuff you have to know really but yeah i'm not going to cover all of this today because you already have a lot of information for beginners right now and so yeah 
time watch and watch this again maybe a couple of times really so you can get really really understand what, what i mean um and if you have any questions write some comments down below really ask me in the comment section otherwise you can absolutely join the discord server right here okay and just go scroll down here and go in the question channel right here in the member uh, member section here go in the question channel ask me some questions and it's going to be a pleasure to answer you if you want now to get more and more and more and more and more and more about <laughs> the 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 order flow really the exo charts really order flow and even the footprint chart you can just go and check out our website you have all the details you need there i'm not going to spend too much time to tell you what you have to do you do whatever you want and on this being said i wish you all a very nice sunday take care of you and catch you all i think tomorrow for the next daily update to let you know really what we can expect if you want to know what we can expect by the way here on bitcoin do not hesitate to go and check out our last update i mean my last update here in the video section you have this nice bitcoin um move down the, this move down is this easy really just go and check this out and you have a possible long setup on the pp by the way so go and check this out you have some nice content there you have some tas as you can see here on ap api3 rdnt on the ck uh, no, by the way, yeah the ckb you have on gmx on ap hburst here there i mean the op, op by you have some some different tas here <laughs> just go and check this out already anyway have a brilliant day take care and catch you all in the next one cheers